Island. Same great story telling. It's just an hour later. And it all starts tonight with a look at a shocking cocktail of a movie, Quentin Tarantino's Django Unchained. Part epic, part revenge fantasy, part romance, and part western. It's all about slavery. Well, I sat down for the only joint interview with the controversial director and two of his stars, Leonardo DiCaprio and Jamie Foxx. One critic said recently, there is something for everyone to hate in this film. There's something for, to make everybody mad. I don't think that you do a film like this with Quentin Tarantino and not expect that. I think that's what you sign up for. A black person I was talking to says, well, the N-word bothered me. I said, it's supposed to. I don't think anybody is actually going out there saying that we use the word more excessively than it was used in 1858 in Mississippi. And if that's not the case, then they can shut up. What's your name? Django. Then you're exactly the one I'm looking for. Fox plays a freed slave on a blood-soaked mission to free his wife. In Tarantino's hands, the material is explosive, loaded with violence. This was one of the most narcissistic, self-indulgent, racist, most despicable characters I've ever read in my entire life. DiCaprio plays the truly despicable Kelvin Candy. You got a safari going on that's a good bit of fun. Plantation owner and vicious racist who uses the N-word constantly. I gotta say, the first day on set was incredibly difficult for me. Jamie was there. Okay, good. Well, let him speak on it first. But I have to tell him because I watched it. I watched. Yeah. And he goes, he said, he goes, buddy. And I said, what's the deal? He said, it's tough. I said, you know what? You're human. It's supposed to be tough. You're not supposed to feel like that's normal in 2012, 2013. So far, the controversy has only fueled ticket sales. Django Unchained has surpassed the $100 million mark and is on target to become Tarantino's highest grossing film to date. You can see the rest of my interview tonight at Nightline's New Time following Jimmy Kimmel. All right, 12.